I've got the 30 hottest prospects in Major League Baseball right now. Stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax with Prospect Hot Sheet Week 4, where I break down 30 hot prospects in Major League Baseball right now. Now, there are very small windows to buy and sell before the majority of the population finds these guys. So if you enjoy this content, please subscribe and help reach my new goal of 5,000 subscribers. I also have some exclusive content over on my Patreon page. I've got complete autograph checklist breakdowns of all releases from 2019 up until 2022 Bowman, which releases in about a week. You can find the whole breakdown of all first Chrome prospects on the 2022 Bowman checklist. I've also got top 100 Bowman Chrome Autos checklist and a top 100 Bowman Chrome Autos under $50 list. So check that out. And on my Discord server, we have a lot of activity with over uh, 75 patrons right now. And you also gain early access to information like Prospect Hot Sheet. I post this information 24 hours prior to release my videos on my Discord and on my Patreon. So if that's something you think you'd be interested in, check a link in the description. I'll put it in there so you guys can check it out. But without further ado, let's jump into this week's Prospect Hot Sheet. All right, I'm going to start out this video with my honorable mentions. And I've got 15 honorable mentions. And then I've got my top 15 overall from this week. So we're going to kick things off with Hudson Potts, a third base prospect with the San Diego Padres. He hit a couple dingers this week and he hit a couple doubles, seven RBIs. He's only batting, I think he's batting under 200 on the season, but he had a really big week. Next honorable mention is Zach Veen with the Colorado Rockies. He was nine for 19 this week with a homer, three doubles, three RBIs, and two walks. Viendel Pena with the Washington Nationals was 7 for 16 with two homers, five RBIs, and two doubles. And TJ White out of 2021 Bowman Draft was 7 for 16 with a homer, three doubles, an RBI, and two walks. A fellow person out of 2021 Draft is Jackson Merrill with the San Diego Padres. The shortstop was 9 for 19 with a home run, two doubles, six RBIs, and two walks. Jose Ramos with the Los Angeles Dodgers. You're going to find him on the 2022 Bowman checklist. Was 8 for 19 with two triples, three doubles, and four walks. Pirates top prospect Henry Davis was 9 for 17 with a homer, a double, and three RBIs this week. And Marco Luciano making his first appearance on this list was 6 for 19 with two homers, uh, two doubles, four RBIs, and two walks. Now, Luciano has lost a little bit of stock coming out of the Arizona Fall League and coming out of high A last year, but he was playing way under the average age. So look for my Luciano to have a big year this year. I really hope he can break out now that he's kind of playing with more age-appropriate people, but uh, he's a person to watch because his stock qu uh, fell quite a bit, especially after his Fall League performance where he really struggled. Uh, next is Robert Hassel. This is his second appearance on the hot sheet. Was 9 for 23, two homers, two doubles, eight ribbies, four walks, and stolen base. So Robert Hassel is the universal man. He can do it all in the Padres organization. His autos are getting really, really expensive, and you can find those in 2020 draft right now. Wenseel Perez with the Detroit Tigers was 6 for 18, 3 homers, 5 RBIs, and 2 stolen bases. He's a guy that could be a sell right now for some of you guys that have been holding. Uh, my super sleeper, Jordan Diaz with the Oakland A's, uh, was like a $5 auto out of 2021 Bowman Chrome on release, and it's still pretty cheap. He was 6 for 17 with a home run, 4 doubles, and RBIs. He's not going to be cheap for long, guys. Corbin Carroll with the Arizona Diamondbacks, and everyone knows his name. He is back full swing. It's almost like he never missed an entire year. He's in double A. He's 9 for 21 with a homer, a triple, four doubles, three RBIs, and four walks this week. Esteiri Ruiz with the San Diego Padres. I had to work on pronouncing his name because it's quite difficult for me for some reason. Was 11 for 25 with a home run, two doubles, seven RBIs, and five stolen bases. Jonathan Ornelius is possibly another big sell right now because he may never have a week this good in the rest of his life. So if you guys were holding on to some Jonathan Ornelius, this is definitely a hot streak for him. He was 10 for 21 with a home run, a double, and two RBIs. Ronnie Mauricio is going to finish out our honorable mentions. He was 8 for 21 with four doubles, a homer, three RBIs, and two stolen bases. We're going to jump into the top 
15. All right, so leading us off with number 15 is Bryce Terang. He's a shortstop prospect in the Milwaukee Brewers organization. He's 22, playing in AAA, and he was 11 for 22 this week with three doubles, six RBIs, and two walks. Now, Terang has pretty much been an average over power hitter. You can see that by the high season average and the low season ISO. He also makes a lot of contact, as noted by his 20% K rate. Now, his Bowman Chrome Autos can be found in 2018 Bowman Draft for around $20. And as I mentioned in all my videos, guys, the line, their stat line for the week is in the purple, and their season stats that are current to the current day are in yellow. So you can kind of see who's on a super hot streak, um, who's playing way over their season averages, and um, you can kinda, it kind of gives you a better look at the player as a whole. So you can decide whether you want to buy or sell based on um, some extra stats from the season. But number 14 is Lyover Paguero, a shortstop with the Pittsburgh Pirates. He's 21, playing in double A, so he's just under the average age. He was 10 for 21. He hit five doubles this week with five RBIs and three stolen bases. Now he's hitting 320 on the year with a 240 ISO, and he's got a 15.3K percentage in double A as a 21 year old. So that's super impressive. His cards are still relatively cheap but it may be because he plays in the Pirates organization, but you can find him in 2021 Bowman Chrome. At number 13, we have a guy out of 2021 draft who was slept on big time. His cards were around $25 to $30 on release. He was a first rounder with one of the best prospect developing uh, systems in the minor leagues, the Tampa Bay Rays, and he's an 18 in A ball right now, and he's 10 for 20 with a home run, a triple, three doubles, and five RBIs. He's hitting 383 on the season with a 340 ISO P. So he is hot and he is uh, somebody to keep an eye on. His prices have already doubled up to $55 um, since, he's, uh, since he started the season. But as I said before, the 2022 season started, he was slept on out of draft. He was about a $20, $25 auto. Number 12 is Garrett Mitchell making his second appearance on the hot sheet with the Milwaukee Brewers. 23 in double A as an outfielder. He was 10 for 26 with two homers, two doubles, six RBIs, and two walks. Now he's hitting 296 in double A on the season, but his ISO P is under 200. And it's crazy to say that his ISO P is under 200, like it's a bad thing because uh, the guy, what, what some guys did this week is so crazy. I get used to like 200 being the norm when it's really not. Um, 185 ISO P is actually pretty good for a guy that is considered more of a contact hitter like Mitchell. But Mitchell is striking out a bit too much right now. He's striking out a 35% clip. Um, his autos are $60 right now. Uh, you can find him in 2020 Bowman Draft. Now, number 11 is going to round up our uh, bottom five is Shea Langoliers, recently traded to the Oakland A's. He's one of the older players on this list. I don't go above the age of 24 on this list. So if you have any players you know, that are 25 and up, they're not going to make the list. And if they don't have a Bowman Chrome Auto, they're also not going to make the list. Okay, so just to put those facts out there for people who may be watching Prospect Hot Sheet for the first time. Um, Triple A, he's a catcher. He's 10 for 24, two homers, two doubles, four RBIs, three walks. He's hitting 309 on the year with a 327 ISO P. There's hundreds of minor leaguers out there that are hitting under 327. And Shea Langliers has a 327 ISO P, along with Carson Williams, who's got that 340. He's also striking out 19% of his at bats, so his strikeout ratio or strikeout percentage is really low. But he is an older prospect, um, and he's not getting a whole lot of love because he's older, he's a catcher, and he's in the Oakland organization. So his autos are selling for around $15 right now. And if you're ripping, you can find those in 2019 Bowman Draft. Let's jump into 6 through 10. So at number 10, we have no stranger to prospect hot sheet. He was my cover uh, player, I think, on the second episode. Josh Smith with the Texas Rangers. He's 24. He's in AAA. He's another old guy like uh, Shane Langoliers. He's a second baseman, and he's blocked by Marcus Simeon big time. But he was 9 for 20 this week with two homers, two doubles, six RBIs, and three walks. He's hitting 273 on the year, and his ISO P is around 180. Now, I don't ever expect Josh Smith to be a superstar, but, man, he could be a really solid big leaguer and help another club out. I really feel like if he was in any other organization, he would have already been called up and had his shot. You know, it's a major league playing time. But he is chomping at the bit. Um, I heard he's also got a really cool YouTube channel where he kind of um, 
uh, talks about his his minor league life. So it's something I need to check out. Maybe something you guys could check out. But I've been rooting for Josh Smith for a while now. He's an LSU he's an LSU guy, and a uh, big fan of Josh Smith and the way he plays. He just pretty much does it all. Number nine. We've got Pete Crow Armstrong, who, like Corbin Carroll, came off of a year off of baseball with an injury last year. He's also with the Chicago Cubs now. He's 20 years old. He's playing in A-ball. A little old for the level. But like I said, he missed an entire year last year where he didn't play any baseball. Oh, I'm sorry. He played two games. But uh, he was 10 for 24 with two homers, two doubles, a triple, 10 RBIs, and three stolen bases. Now, you notice I had to shrink his stat line down because it was so long. <laughs> So Pete Crow Armstrong is hitting 326 with a 255 ISO P right now. And that's one of the things that people didn't expect out of Pete Crow Armstrong was a lot of power. He was considered you know, a big contact guy, a good bat to ball guy. You can see that his K percentage is 14.8. So that's in the pudding. The proof's in that pudding. But what's going to make or break Pete Crow Armstrong and his hobby, I think, is what he does power-wise. And right now he's demonstrating that it's there. For the most part at 255 but he's gonna have to keep those levels high you know he's approaching his physical peak at the age of 20 you know he'll probably have about two more years to show people he can hit for power and if not he may lose some love in the hobby uh, number eight is the super utility man we talked about christian cost and su uh, sleeper videos he's with the boston red sox he's another 24 year old on this list in double a he was nine for 18 with two homers a double seven rbis and a stolen base on the year, Koss is hitting 321. His ISO is a little low at 150, and his strikeout percentage is a tad bit high at 26.7, but he's doing a lot of things well that could get him to the big league level as a utility player. And, you know, his autos were around $5 before I did the sleeper video, and they've jumped a little bit, but they've come back down to about 10 So he could be a really good buy right now, but like I said, he is older. And he is going to be a utility player for the most part, so he may not get a whole lot of hobby love. At number seven, we have a recent uh, addition to the Bowman Chrome checklist at our 2021 draft is Alex Benellis with the Boston Red Sox. Um, 21 years old, playing in high A, third baseman. He was six for 17 this week. He hit three home runs, a double, five RBIs, and five walks. So on the season, he's hitting 306. He's got a 408 ISO P. Crazy. But he is striking out a little bit more than I'd like to see at 30.6% of his plate appearances. His cards are around $40 right now. And he, like I said, he's a 2021 Bowman Draft. The guy to check out, he's having a really good uh, professional first full season. Um, at number six is a guy I love. I talked about him when 2021 draft released. I said he's being slept on. I said people don't realize how good Jose Torres is. He's a super athlete. He's a super defender. And he's got a pretty good stick. Um, he's 22 years old, playing in high A, a bit old for the level. I'm going to give him that. Um, he needs to jump up to high A or double A and see what he's made of with some guys his own age. But right now, he's really putting a punishing on high A arms. He's 8 for 15 with three homers, three uh, triple, a double, four RBIs, and two stolen bases this week. He's hitting 308 on the year with a 333 ISOP and a sub 20K percentage. And you can still buy these autos for $15. So, um, the guys that are watching this video right now, if you have a chance to jump on it, um, it's a pretty good buy for 15, but if too many people find out, that number may jump um, jump to about 30 to 40, you know, if, if he gets a lot of notoriety because he really is having a good season so far. So we're going to jump into our top five. This is the craziest top five that I've had of any prospect hot sheet. The numbers that these five guys put up this week is are just absolutely insane. You can see all of the red numbers. So I started putting like really high season averages and really high season ISOPs and really great K percentages in red. And I started putting some of the bad things in blue. And you know, you can see with the guys that were 11 through 15, um, had a couple red, a couple blue. Guys six through 10 had a couple red and one blue. And uh, the top five is the, basically all of their season stats for all the guys are in red. It's just a ton of red because they absolutely mashed. Um, Starting off with Joshua Mears, who is an athletic, just absolute specimen. Um, he's probably got some of the biggest raw power in minor league baseball. Problem with Josh Mears, he strikes out a ton. Like I said, he's got some of the biggest pop in minor league baseball, but the problem is going to be getting to that power because he strikes out a ton. He struck, he's striking out 36.6% rate right now, but he hit five home runs in a week. 
Him and Michael Bush hit five home runs this week. That's crazy. Five home runs in a week. He's 21. He's playing in high A, and he's hitting 275 on the year. Um, his autos obviously are getting high, but he's a huge, huge risk. I would not buy Josh Mears just because I don't take risk that big. Now, it could pan out huge for somebody or it could be a huge loss. But he's in 2019 Bowman Draft. If you'd like to gamble, Joshua Mears is a guy to gamble on. Now, we've got number four, Jacob Amaya. And this is a sell alert because Jacob Amaya has really done nothing noteworthy in the minor leagues um, until this past week and then the beginning of the season. He's 23, he's in double A, he's a shortstop with the Dodgers. He's 10 for 22 with three homers, three doubles, a triple, and eight RBIs. So you guys go and check your auto bins. For guys you may have just stowed away, go check your first chromes. Jacob Mai is probably going to be somewhere in there in your 2020 Bowman Chrome stuff. He's hitting 349 this season with a 418 ISOP and a 16.1K percentage. Just absolutely insane numbers right now coming from Jacob Amaya um, with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Number three is Michael Bush, and uh, man, Michael Bush is so good. He can hit, hit, hit. He's 24, he's older, he's double A, he plays second base. Um, he was nine for 23 this week. He's got five homers. Him and Mears, like I said, hit five homers this week. A double, he had nine RBIs and six walks. So he's taken a ton of walks, or people just aren't throwing to him because they realize that he's on a super hot streak right now. Now, uh, Bush isn't five home run a week power. Bush is a big bat, and I think he will make it to the big league level one day as a hitter. He's hitting 321 on the season with a 434 ISOP and a 23.9K percentage. You know, um, during the COVID era, I was really torn between Hosey and Bush. I invested bigger in Hosey, and I only invested a little bit in Bush. Um, Hosey just really struggling in, the, in, in professional baseball right now, and Bush has kind of taken off. So, you know, um, between those two guys, it looks like Michael Bush is going to uh, be the guy from that draft class. Uh, and number two, we have another guy, super sleeper, um, sell, sell, sell. If you can find him in your 2019 uh, Bowman Chrome, you know, storage boxes, look for Moises Gomez with the Tampa Bay Rays, 23 and double A. He's an outfielder. The dude was 12 for 23 with three homers, two doubles, seven RBIs, and two walks. He's having an insane start to this season. On, uh, on the season, he's hitting 455 with a 704 ISOP and a 445 strikeout percentage. Okay, so he's striking out in only 4% of his at bats. He's got a 704 ISOP and a 500 average. You're not going to find anybody with better numbers all year. Um, I would definitely pump all the Moises Gomez I could sell right now because I don't see this guy ever getting any hotter. And, um, you know, his prices have already started to jump. He's up to $25 now, and I expect that to jump a little bit more, you know, after he gains some notoriety for his week that he's had. But like I said, he's in 2019 Bowman Chrome. And coming in in the first place spot is Gerard Encarnacion, 24 years old in double A with the Miami Marlins. Now, I do realize that all the top five were pretty old, and you know, older guys don't get a lot of love in the hobby, especially 24 year olds, which is also why I take 25 and above and I put them out. But he's 24, he was 10 for 20, so he hit 500, he hit three home runs, two doubles, six RBIs, two stolen bases, and five walks. So he had an incredibly big week. He's hitting 367 on the season with a 300 ISOP and a 26.4K percentage. So look for a Gerard Encarnacion call up. Um, whenever it becomes available to the Marlins. He's a $25 auto right now out of 2020 Bowman Chrome. And that's going to wrap up the top 30 players from this week. Um, as always, guys, this is just advice and this is just numbers for you to look at. Um, I'm not trying to sway any markets. I'm just trying to give you guys as much information as possible to make your own decisions on buying and selling. So uh, that's going to wrap up all 30 of our guys. I'm going to go ahead and thank everybody for watching this fourth week of Prospect Hot Sheet. If this is a series that you guys like, I put it on every week. You can subscribe to my channel so you won't miss it. Uh, if you want to check out my Patreon page, the link's in the description. Lots of cool stuff going on over there, and you get uh, access to information that comes 
before I post videos on YouTube, so you can kind of get a jump on buying or selling if you want to, you know, make that decision for different players. But I appreciate the views. I appreciate all the guys that are subscribed to my Patreon. You guys rock. Y'all have a great night, and uh, take care.